Sahih al-Bukhari fear prayer. Sahih al-Bukhari fear prayer narrated Shu'aib. I asked as Zuri, did the Prophet ever offer the fear prayer? As Zuri said, I was told by Salim that Abdullah bin Umar the first had said, I took part in a holy battle with Allah's messenger I in Naj. We faced the enemy and arranged ourselves in rows. Then Allah's messenger, P. B. U. H. stood up to lead the prayer and one party stood to pray with him while the other faced the enemy. Allah's messenger, P. B. U. H. and the former party bowed and performed two prostrations. Then that party left and took the place of those who had not prayed. Allah's messenger prayed one raka with the latter and performed two prostrations and finished his prayer with taslim. Then every one of them bowed once and performed two prostrations individually. Sahih al-Bukhari 942 Reference 12 Hadith 1 Sahih al-Bukhari Fear Prayer Narrated Nafi Ibn Umar said something similar to Mujahid's saying, Whenever, Muslims and non-Muslims, stand face to face in battle, the Muslims can pray while standing. Ibn Umar added, the Prophet said, if the number of the enemy is greater than the Muslims, they can pray while standing or riding, individually. Sahih al-Bukhari 943 Reference 12 Hadith 2 Sahih al-Bukhari Fear Prayer Narrated Ibn Abbas Once the Prophet, P. B. U. H. led the fear prayer and the people stood behind him. He said Takbir, Allahu Akbar, and the people said the same. He bowed and some of them bowed. Then he prostrated and they also prostrated. Then he stood for the second raka and those who had prayed the first raka left and guarded their brothers. The second party joined him and performed bowing and prostration with him. All the people were in prayer but they were guarding one another during the prayer. Sahih al-Bukhari 944 Reference 12 Hadith 3 Sahih al-Bukhari Fear Prayer Narrated Habir bin Abdullah On the day of the Khandaq Umar came, cursing the disbelievers of Quraysh and said, O Allah's Apostle, I have not offered the Asr prayer and the sun has set. The Prophet replied, By Allah, I too, have not offered the prayer yet. The Prophet then went to Buthan, performed ablution and performed the Asr prayer after the sun had set and then offered the Maghrib prayer after it. Sahih al-Bukhari 945 Reference 12 Hadith 4 Sahih al-Bukhari Fear Prayer Narrated Ibn Umar When the Prophet returned from the Battle of Al-Azab, the Confederates, he said to us, none should offer the Asr prayer but at Bani Kareza. The Asr prayer became due for some of them on the way. Some of them decided not to offer the Salat but at Bani Kareza while others decided to offer the Salat on the spot and said that the intention of the Prophet was not what the former party had understood. And when that was told to the Prophet he did not blame any one of them. Sahih al-Bukhari 946 Reference 12 Hadith 5 Sahih al-Bukhari Fear Prayer Narrated Anas bin Malik Allah's Messenger P. B. U. H. Offered the Fajr prayer when it was still dark, then he rode and said, Allah Akbar. Kaibar is ruined. When we approach near to a nation, the most unfortunate is the mourning of those who have been warned. The people came out into the streets saying, Muhammad peace be upon him and his army. Allah's messenger vanquished them by force and their warriors were killed. The children and women were taken as captives. Safiya was taken by Diya al-Kalbi and later she belonged to Allah's apostle Go who married her and her mar was her manumission. Sahih al-Bukhari 947 Reference 12 Hadith 6